everybody. How are you guys doing? I miss you all terribly. I hope that everybody is staying safe and most importantly, staying healthy. Um, I wanted to try to come up with a project that we could do together today that would be a good way of using up some scrap fabric. So. I feel like every self-respecting DIYer has this problem. We save pretty fabric because we love pretty fabric, but sometimes we just have these odds and ends that aren't really big enough to do a full project with. Today we're gonna put those to use. So I want you guys to go through your scrap bin and pull out anything that is either satin or silk because today we're gonna be making scrunchies, but we're gonna be making like miniature scrunchies. And when I say miniature, I don't mean like for kids or for dolls or something like that. I mean that instead of making the usual kind of thicker, fluffier scrunchies, we're gonna make really thin, understated scrunchies. These are great to put your hair up at night to protect your hair while you sleep, or even during the day. The satin and the silk scrunchie is gonna be much better on your hair than a regular elastic. So that's what we're gonna make today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, so first thing we wanna do is take our scrap fabric and fold it face to face with our right sides facing together. Once you fold it, use your straight pins and pin it every few inches, that way it makes it easier for us to sew. Obviously, we're gonna do the same thing for both if you're making two like me, simple straight stitch all the way across the top. Now, I recommend moving your needle position all the way to the left, that way more of your fabric can be under the presser foot and it doesn't get chewed up at all. It just makes it a little bit easier. Now, here we go. We have both of our pieces sewn and you're gonna take a safety pin. Put the safety pin on the very edge of the fabric and feed it back inside your scrunchie casing. You're gonna slide the fabric along the safety pin, kind of scooting it along so that we can flip this entire thing inside out. Once you get to the end, grab that safety pin and when you pull on the outer layer of fabric, the entire thing flips itself inside out. Now take that safety pin out and attach it to your piece of elastic. You want to attach it to the end. You're going to feed that into the scrunchie casing, but be sure to hold on to the other end of your elastic so that it doesn't accidentally go all the way through. Slide everything as you go, scrunching along, and when you get to the end, hold on to your one end with your hand, pull the other end through, and overlap them. At this point, you just stitch your elastic down with a sewing machine. Personally, I recommend using a zigzag stitch here and going back and forth quite a few times. That way, no matter how hard you tug, you're good to go. Now this is the last step, this is clean finishing it. You're gonna take one end of the scrunchie and feed it into the other so that it's nice and clean finished. Then you would sew that closed, either by hand or at the sewing machine, that's up to you. But there you go, you can see they're done, they're sort of dainty, a little bit more understated, yet when we put our hair up with them, they still add beautiful color and that nice lift of a scrunchie. All right. So you can see it's so simple and it's so easy and you barely need any fabric. Obviously you guys see the slight difference between either using the two inches of fabric or the one and a half inches of fabric. That's just based off whatever your preference is, but obviously you guys can use even the tiniest scrap of fabric, which is so awesome. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to keep checking in on all of Home and Family's social media pages because we are releasing brand new original content from recipes to DIYs, to fashion, to fitness, tons of content for you guys to keep you all entertained. We appreciate the loyalty and the love and the well wishes more than you know and we send it all right back to you so thanks for watching this one guys i love you all stay safe and stay healthy bye